All right, in this video, we're going to set up our home page. We're actually going to set up two kinds of home pages. In this one, for all users. And then later on, we're going to switch it up and have a home page based on anonymous versus logged in users. In this case, we're just going to set up our first one. We're going to create a two column brick layout with our welcome page at the top and then two even columns with our views and blocks in them as well. All right, let's get to it. Click on structure and panels. Let's just have a quick overview of what this page is. This is the main panels overview page. Everything on the left allows us to create new, new panel pages, mini panels, panel nodes, custom content, rule sets, layouts, and styles. On the right hand side, we have a page wizard that I don't tend to use. And then we can manage any of our pages on our site, all of which are disabled at this point. And we'll leave them that way for now. At the bottom is a listing of any of the custom mini panel styles, etc., that we create. So this is your main go-to page. If you've taken out an intermediate class, you've seen this before. Go ahead and click on panel page on the left hand side. Let's create a new panel page. And again, if you've taken our intermediate class, you've done this before. We'll call this our home page. The description, this is our new home page. The path can be home page. Are you sensing a theme here? <laughs> Click in make this your site home page. And now you'll notice a few other options here. It's going to be a panel. We have the options of setting access control, menu items, selection rules and context. Because this is our home page, we don't need one, but we'll do more with that later. Click continue. We have the options here of a one column, two column, or three column layout. Later on, we're going to switch this to three column layout for our logged in users. But for now, choose a two column stacked layout and click continue. Now, one of the things with panels you'll notice is there's nowhere to save it just yet. So be very careful with this. Let's disable the Drupal blocks and regions. You'll also notice we can remove body classes and add body classes. We could use the standard renderer or the in place editor. You have to have the privileges to do this. You'd set that up in permissions. You can add a CSS ID for this page. You can even slap some CSS code in here, which please don't ever, 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 ever do. You should always manage your CSS from your style sheet. Click continue. And now you'll see that we have the option here of laying out some content. We're going to hide the title because we really don't want it to say home page. And let's add some content here. Click on the gear and click add content. And now we're shown the content selection screen. We can have any activity, custom blocks that we have, menus, miscellaneous items. We can even execute some PHP, which I highly suggest you don't. Different page elements, different views, and different widgets that come with Drupal. You'll also notice we have existing node. Click on existing node and just type a W. Depending on what Devel did for you there, you may or may not have any other nodes, but I just have the welcome to the panels tutorial with an ID of one. I'm going to leave the title because it'll be a nice home page title for our page. And I'm going to change the build mode from teaser to full content because I want the entire content to be shown. I'm going to deselect node links for add comment and read mores because I don't want a read more there as well. Click finish. And so now across the top of my page, I'm going to have that welcome page. On the left hand side, click add content, click on views and select the meet the trainer view. We only have one display here. Click continue. We'll leave the title and we don't need to send any arguments. Click finish. 
Again on the left hand side, click the gear and add content. Select the view and let's use the upcoming training drop down as our widget there. Click finish. And then on the right hand side, let's go ahead and add the view for our upcoming training page and click continue. and click finish. If we wanted to add something here in the bottom, we could, but the nice thing with panels is, if we don't, they'll just collapse. Go ahead and click finish. We still haven't saved this. Go ahead and click save. All right, now let me talk a little bit about what we've done. We've created a new variant using panels that will take over our home page. Now, panel isn't a very good title here, so let's go ahead and change that title to home page. Click update and save. And that's on the general tab just in case you missed that. Now, let's go home and see what our new home page looks like. So we have the word home here. We need to fix that. Welcome to the panels tutorial. There's the meet the trainer not exactly perfect and it looks like we actually have a problem here we'll fix that now and then we do have our upcoming training as far as a home page goes this is a much nicer layout than what we had earlier if I was building this for real I would probably build another view here that doesn't use the thumbnail as the image for the trainer so this would look a little bit better but in the meantime let's fix this view I know this isn't a views class click on edit view Click on body, click on rewrite results, and we just need to fix this. This is just a little wrong. It should say node slash square bracket node ID square bracket. Get rid of what was up there and put the word trainer in here. And then the more link should be node slash node ID. Click apply and click save. And that should make that a little bit better indeed it does now this may not have happened to you but for me for whatever reason a, the title switched back to home so let's go ahead and fix that if I hover over my panel click on the little gear and click edit panel you'll notice that my title type is now manually set even though I selected no title earlier I'm not sure if that was me or just a weird Drupal thing change that to no title click update and save and now my home page has no home at the top. And this is looking actually pretty good.